Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 20 of Draw and Paint for Life. Lesson 20, boy, the school year is just hopping along. Um, we're looking at pencils today, which is something that is so often overlooked as a really beautiful art supply. Whenever I do a watercolor painting, it always starts with a sketch and a pencil. That's not actually true. Sometimes I start it without um, a pencil sketch, but you can make a sketch. So something like this and make a really light line. This almost looks like a vase with flowers. And then bring color on top of line. And I'm gonna use our color of the week, which is this really beautiful blue, okay? To kind of fill in this pot that I drew, which might seem a little bit um, too spot. So you can start by making a sketch. Do you see that very light pencil line? And the watercolor kind of just washes over it. What's really interesting is that watercolor, I think people almost look and expect for there to be a pencil line with watercolor because it's pretty standard to um, paint a line first with watercolor and um, and add to it. So that's one thing you can do. You can begin a watercolor painting with a pencil. And I like to also think that a, the eraser part of a pencil is a stamping tool. And we can go here and I'm gonna pick this really pretty pink and rub the eraser in and then use it to stamp some flowers onto my green. So it's really easy and fun to do that and it makes a nice sound as you're working with it. So stamping tool, drawing tool. Um, it's also a transfer tool. And I have this little picture here of the Eiffel Tower and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna use the graphite, which is another word for lead, which is in the pencil and I'm just gonna rub that on the back and I'm gonna press down pretty good and make sure in my mind that I'm pretty much covering the Eiffel Tower part, okay? And so you're leaving lead or graphite on the backside, and then we're gonna use it to transfer. We're gonna flip it over, okay? And then we're gonna trace it, okay? And I'm just picking up all the major lines I wonder if you can hear my dog over here chewing on his bone. I have a new dog, his name is Ernie. So, if you know anything about the structure of the Eiffel Tower, you can see that this is really simplified. And yet, it's effective in communicating the form you would know right away. Oh, that's the Eiffel Tower. So I'm just tracing the lines that are here. Okay, and let's see, and there it is. So you can use a pencil. You can, like, you know, we should, I showed you here, create a, a transfer surface, surface with the lead that's in the pencil. You can use it as a stamping tool and as a drawing tool. Okay, stamping, drawing. And you should know that in pencils, you can be, use your ink in a really dark way by really pressing down. And then you can also go really light. So it has a variety of different values in it. Remembering that when we talk about value in art, we're not talking about how valuable something is or if your art is worthwhile. We're talking about light to dark, okay? Like, is it light or is it dark? That's called value in art. Because of course your art has value. And um, it's incredibly valuable as an expression of you and hopefully joy. So there it is, the pencil. Thank you so much. See you in class. Bye-bye.